Welcome back. Fourth of July weekend, Friday night. We are in Sugarbush. Little small town. This is close to home again for me. Been kind of nice. A lot of close to home stuff. Actually, this is the first place I ever pulled my grandpa's tractor. John Deere 6300. I actually pulled the other way from what I'm facing. We're going downhill now. We used to pull uphill. But this used to be just a farm pull, and I talked grandpa and let me pull his 6300 tractor, and I got first place that day. I guess that's what got me hooked into pulling. I think I was 13 at that time. But usually get a really nice crowd here. Um, so I'll show you. But it'll be packed. There'll be people all over the place. NEW Motorsports pull again. First class street diesel trucks will be getting started. But I think I got a pretty major problem here. My air conditioner's not working. So I'll have to figure that out. So it's gonna get hot in here. Well, yeah, we got no air conditioning. After I ended the last video, I had smoke come out of the vents. I think I burnt up the blower motor. Make a couple calls. Uh, we look for one tomorrow. John Deere dealer down the road. It's a John Deere cab. So get it fixed. Hopefully get it fixed tomorrow because I got three more days. Packing up with a window open. It ain't too bad. It ain't too hot outside. So once the sun goes down, it won't be too bad. I got a Brody riding with me. Is it fun? Yeah. Yeah. So we're, well then I made a mistake for a street diesel class. I got an orifice valve that regulates how fast the push down goes. Or when I do slow, like antiques, farm trackers, I can push down real slow. Well, I forgot to turn that out after. And I had a uh, slow push down. So I had to reset after the first truck. But we gotta figure it out. We're on track now. Quite a few people here. Well, we're back in the shop. It's quarter after one in the morning. I'm gonna take the top of the cab off. See if we can get to the blower motor and get that fixed. If we can get parts in the morning. Get that fixed up. I got four more days of pulling, or three more days of pulling. I really don't feel like sweating. I think we can get parts. So uh, I'm gonna take that off and see what we got. Well, it's three o'clock in the morning. Tracy's tired. Yes. Gonna call it a night. I think I got it figured out. I had a bad uh, relay. The sled shut off a couple times at the end of the pull. So I got that replaced. That all seems to be working, but for the air conditioning, I think the blower motor's okay. The resistor's up there shorted out, caused some wires to melt. So I think I'm just gonna wire it so it runs on high all the time for now. Uh, for the rest of the weekend and until I can get a new resistor in there So we're gonna go get a couple hours of sleep and we'll be back at it in the morning I think we got it all fixed up I had to go to town for some parts, but we've had it running for I don't know what 10 minutes now we Don't see or smell any smoke Some wires are shorted up up and up on top inside the cab I got Ted and Tegan Helping me put the cab back on this morning so, should be good. Tegan, anything you want to say? No? He's shy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll try to take a nap and be heading back to Sugarbush again today for the farm and antique pull. Back in Sugarbush, doing something different now. Doing a registration. Tracy, you working hard? You're on your phone. <laughs> Trying to find help. <laughs> volunteered to register all the tractors today for a farm tractor pull. So Tracy's signing everybody up. What else are you doing? Handing out wristbands, collecting the money. Got our mask up. I'm weighing them across the scale here, checking hitches. No one coming off. And you even brought Bella with. Bella's just chilling on her blanket. <laughs> well, get back to work here.
lower this way up, hopefully about 100 tractors, and then we'll get pulling. Oh, well, we're about to start day two in Sugar Bush. Got all the registration done, everybody lined up. Starts first class here shortly, a couple minutes before six right now. Tracy's up in the numbers, so we're just gonna write down all the stamps and everything. The sky looks a little scary, though, like it could rain, but I don't think it's going to. I think we'll be okay. Then we're gonna get started here in a little bit. Farm tractors, a couple antiques, uh, about 100 hooks. So hopefully, it don't take too long to get through this. It'll be a nice evening. Welcome to Gillette, Wisconsin. We're up here for the Wampa Truck Coolers. Short track here. 200 and I think we just went 283 and he was right farther than we should be. You got like a little nook I backed into here. Around the playground. Kids play back here. I'm kind of unique. Small area, congested. Short track. North of Green Bay. We'll be here tonight and then again tomorrow night. The weather holds off. We've got antique tractors tomorrow night. Morning. We're still in Gillet. We spent the night here. Um, they got a whole 4th of July weekend celebration. And right now they're doing the horse pull. Good old fashioned horse pull. Two horses at a time. Two horsepower. So we'll check some of that out. So a few weeks ago you've seen how they do, did it with the old time tractors, that's how they did before there was tractors. Uh, we'll be back here tonight 5 o'clock for the antiques, we'll catch back up with you then. We're still in Gillette on the 4th of July, now it's raining. Raindrops on the window, it rained pretty hard for a couple minutes and now it's just kind of sprinkling but it looks like it's going to sprinkle for a while yet so they said about four o'clock which is about an hour from now they're gonna make a decision if they're gonna have the pull or not um looks like it's gonna rain till at least seven so if we start two hours late there is concerns about being done before the noise ordinance curfew in the city and being it's monday a lot of people gotta go back to work in the morning so that may weigh on the decision as well. Scott's out in Iowa. Uh, sounds like everything's a go out there. Um, so, we'll keep you updated. Well, update in Gillette, 4th of July. They have canceled the pull. It is still raining. It's gonna continue to rain for another couple hours, so we'll get started off really late, so they decided to cancel. Can we get loaded up, head on home. Oh, well, we made it back home. That's the end of the weekend. Uh, Scott still should be in Iowa. He's getting started any minute now. Six o'clock, I think they were supposed to start at six o'clock now. It rained the whole way home. It's still raining now. Uh, we got a short week to get ready. Uh, next week starts county fair season, so we start doing a lot more during the week stuff. Uh, we got Thursday, Friday, Saturday next week. Um, it's our hometown fair, Kewanee County Fair. So we got two sleds there. We also got to do the registration again. Tracy and I are going to do that. Uh, the kids will be with us. We got a couple things. There's two scrapers out there by the greenery. My old shop. 
I need two of them. I need two of them this week, so I gotta get one of those ready. And then the other one I gotta get ready, I think, for the following week. Also, I acquired two more. This is a speed board. The distance board's over there by the other side of the semi here. I gotta build a stand and get those ready. So I got Tuesday and Wednesday really is the only time I got to get that stuff ready. Uh, I go to work for a couple hours in the morning and then come home and try and get that stuff ready. Been getting a lot of compliments on the videos. If you guys like them, please share it with your friends. Tell them about it. Tell them to uh, subscribe. Like them. Hit the, hit the thumbs up if you like the videos. Put a comment if there's something you'd like to see. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.